feel like I look cute. I mean, I mean you gotta have that confidence, right? Zay back for I'm back with another video. So I noticed you guys really love the whole Juvia's um, place wear and demo test that I did. So I'm doing it again, but this time we're using Pat McGrath Labs. Oh yeah. So we're doing Miss Auntie Pat Pass. We're using her foundation, her concealer, and her under eye powder. And I'm going to be doing a wear test. I'm going to wear it out today while I run some errands. And I'm going to let you guys know if it's popping or not okay because we all know auntie pat is that boss bitch. she is the boss she is the queen bee she literally steps on next period period that's what she does so we're gonna get into this i'm gonna let you guys know um everything how much i bought everything for because auntie pat auntie pat listen i'm a self-employed queen but i almost spent 200 canadian dollars on all of this okay and just for three products looking good don't looking good ain't cheap y'all ain't cheap so. hide the money y'all there's poor people around <laughs> so i want you guys know how much everything costs so their her new concealer just came out it's a skin fetish sublime perfection concealer that total for 43 canadian dollars that's not with taxes okay next we have the sublime perfection blurring under eye setting powder the powder costs 40 dollars canadian and then we have the foundation sublime perfection foundation and that was 90 canadian dollars without taxes so see this what we not finna do see this what we not finna do see this what we not finna do anti pop pop okay anti pop pop <laughs> Okay, Auntie Pat Pat. So that was a lot of money I had to spend. It's okay, I'll get it back. I did enough talking right now, so let's just get into this video because I know y'all just want to see the demo and the word test. So let's just do this, okay? Okay, so first I'm gonna be prepping my skin with Milk Makeup's Vegan Milk Moisturizer. Boom, boom. And I am dry skin. My skin is dry. I don't know if you guys noticed. This is super dry around my mouth area. And I'm gonna moisturize with this because I am dry skin. So I can't really tell the oily ladies how this foundation is going to wear because um, I am more on the drier skin side. So I can't really tell you guys, but however, you guys can still see if the concealer crease or if the foundation changes throughout the day, etc. etc. And then I'm gonna go in with milk. Once again, back with milk. I'm sorry, these two bad boys together is a match made in heaven especially if you're dry skin because you know we can have that scaliness looking like a lizard i'm gonna take one pump one pump is all you need i see some of people going this and this i'm like y'all just wasting products for no reason mm -mm. here's the foundation y'all i love 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 this packaging however um i just hate glass bottles like this is something that i will be scared to travel with because i don't want it to break pat mcgrath skin fetish sublime let me say sublime, 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 sublime. Hmm. Sublime Perfection Foundation. It says to be a long wearing, custom customizable foundation that builds from sheer to medium coverage in a wide range of universal hues that manifests the ultimate sublime skin standard. Coverage medium, finish natural, formulation liquid. Its skin type is for normal, dry, combination, and oily. It says, yeah, okay. Oh, it says, what else you need to know? I'm reading this from the Sephora website. It says, a Vita Serum Complex Moisturizer and helps fight the appearance of wrinkles while diamond core powder technology enhances skin's texture, helps smooth and blur the appearance of fine lines, pore imperfection, the silky weightless formulation imparts a filtered soft focus luminosity. So that's what it says on the Sephora website. I'm just reading it. I'm using the color I medium deep 24 if you guys want to know I'm gonna do one half of the face with the foundation so you can see how it looks like and how it covers Oop, that just squirted out okay so let's see it is a little bit more um, on the orangey side for me 
Um, I know when I was picking out colors, the color before this had a better undertone for me, but I felt like it was uh, pretty, it was a little too light for me. But this one looks a little bit more on the orange side because I'm very golden. I'm like very like golden yellow. But putting this on, I definitely look more, a little bit more red. But it's okay, like I'm really easy, I'm really good with finessing foundations. Okay, so this is what, this is what it looks like. This is the side with foundation. And this is the side without foundation. Okay, thoughts so far about this, with this foundation. Um, one pump, it didn't really, it's not very full coverage. That's for sure, from that one pump. Um, Definitely if you want more of a fuller coverage look, I definitely feel like you might need two to three pumps depending on how full coverage you want it to be. So this is one layer. Well, I mean, technically it's one layer. I mean, this is not really one layer, but this is it on my face. Um, I do want a bit more coverage. So I think I'm gonna do another pump. So this is how much one pump you get. You get this much in one pump. Sorry, ignore, ignore this, ignore this. You get, this is how much one pump is. One pump is about this much. It's very liquidy, like very, very watery. Like very, it's a very watery formula. I'm more of a brush girl. I feel like you would get more maximum coverage if you were to use a brush than a beauty blender with this because it is very watery and I feel like a beauty blender will definitely or a beauty sponge will definitely soak it up so I'm definitely more a fan of using a brush and I always use a NYX buff blush buff brush buff brush okay <laughs> here's a concealer in the box this concealer and I'm gonna tell you guys the stats about this concealer so it's a creamy, lightweight, full coverage concealer with a natural, radiant matte finish that brightens under eyes and hides the appearance of blemishes. Full coverage, finishes normal, formulation liquid, great for normal, dry, combination oily. So I'm using the color M21 and I'm going to put this under my eyes. And just so you guys know that I am following the exact same steps how I do my foundation normally. I'm not changing anything to make this foundation better. I'm just literally trying it the way that I will do my makeup. So, oh, she's creamy. She is creamy. So I'm gonna see how much I can get from one dip. One dip did pretty good. Not bad, not bad. I know some of you guys are like, oh, this concealer color is so light and whatnot. I could have gone a shade darker, but the colors were, the colors are interesting with um, Pat McGrath. So, but like I said, um, it kind of works out for me to go lighter only because the foundation is very, is slightly darker and a little bit more red. So this will definitely counteract that. Thoughts about it is very thick. It is very creamy. That's for sure. One dip did both under both the uh, both under my eyes, so I like that. So I don't have to double double keep dipping and dipping. So a little goes a long way. It is pretty thick, so I'm gonna blend it out. And I you always like to use my Real Techniques um, setting brush. So I didn't get the setting powder for this because honestly, eighty dollars for a setting powder. As much as I love Miss Pat. I was like, I'm not gonna be doing that. <laughs> I mean, that's a little too expensive for a setting powder. I'm like, 80 bucks? Oh my God. That'll, that'll be pushing like almost like $300 just for face products. That blended out really nicely. That blended really nicely. It doesn't dry too quickly, but I wouldn't let it sit on the face too long because it is like a matte finish like a radiant matte finish, so it does dry pretty quickly. So sometimes I bake with my concealers. This is one that I wouldn't really bake with because of how quickly it dries. Nothing is set yet, just the foundation and concealer. And now we're gonna go in with the under eye powder. Okay, so the next product I'll be using is the Skin Finish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye 
powder and I got the color deep she only had three shades I do feel like there should have been at least two colors after this because this is deep I may set under my eyes for bright like for brightness but I definitely feel like there could have been a darker color like I 100% believe there could have been a darker color so this was $40 and I'm gonna tell you guys what it does okay a brilliantly blendable ultra weightless under eye setting powder that brightens and blurs for luminous soft focus effect light coverage natural pressed powder formulation no more dry combination of oily so pretty much it says that you just sweep it under the eyes so I'm gonna take love this brush for everything so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pop it under my eyes so it already there is already a bit of creasing um, so I'm gonna blend it out quickly I got a bit of creasing already so I'm gonna powder one under eye first and then show you guys how it looks like I feel like the powder slightly darkened under my eye a little bit I don't know maybe it's me I feel like it slightly darkened under my eye you know this reminds me a lot of it reminds me a lot of the Sephora micro smooth just the way it feels because when you feel it it's like so buttery smooth you can feel like the smoothing effect of this but yeah this reminds me a lot of the Sephora so this eye is with the setting powder and this eye is without you can actually it blurred like you can see you see my indent right here you barely see the indent right here like my under eye looks flawless like you can barely like you said indent right here you barely see it over here that's crazy so so far i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at it i like the finish i like the way it looks on my face it feels very lightweight i don't feel it i like the fact that i don't feel it i hate I hate when I feel it like I don't want to feel it on my face like it bothers me like no we don't want it on my I don't want to feel it on my face so it feels good I feel I feel cute okay guys so I just finished my look and I'm looking like a <laughs> snack <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um I finished off my look pretty much did what I usually do I don't know my face is very dry for some reason like extremely dry so like I didn't really powder my face that much I just did under my eyes and like the same powder under my eyes and everything I didn't even like put setting powder over my face my face was just extremely dry for some odd reason so I had to like go in with some setting spray to give me some like glow some luminosity because your girl was out here looking looking like she needed water can I get you anything? Water would be nice. Let you guys know it's 2.29. Let's just say 2.30 right now, p.m. And I'm about to go out, do my nails, um, some errands and stuff like that. But I just want to show you guys how it looks like the foundation everything. Um, all I really have on my face is some bronzer. I contoured with a Juvia's Place stick. Um, highlight. And then I just put a setting spray all over it and some blush. Um, the color, after a while, the color doesn't look so bad. After I finesse, it's still a little bit, a little bit more pinky orange than I would like. I was like a bit more golden color, but it's not so bad. I can hang with this. I'm not complaining. Um, it feels lightweight. I still don't feel it on my skin. So I'm gonna just let you guys come a little bit closer to me. <laughs> Eh, how you zoom? <laughs> so this is how it looks like on my skin right now. I didn't really blend my contour out that great. Don't come for me, please. I was in a rush because I gotta be at my appointment at four o'clock. But this is how it looks like in the skin. We are getting a little bit of creasage right here under the eye, but I always get creasage under there. But I still like how smooth my under eye looks and the foundation too. My skin looks pretty smooth. Can't complain. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm about to go on the road, it's 2.30, about to do what I gotta do and I'll come back tonight, show you guys how my face looks like. But so far, I feel like I look cute. I mean, I mean you gotta have that confidence, right? Bye, I'll be back y'all <laughs>
Hey babe, so I am back. Right now it is 10.21 and I've had my makeup on for about eight hours now and I finally have my final thoughts. I'm already in my like makeup PJs. This is like the shirt I always wear <laughs> when I'm about to do a makeup look because I am about to do a look right after this. But I want to give you guys my final thoughts about this makeup since I've been wearing it all day. So I look at myself in the mirror. I still feel like I look cute. I feel like I look cute. Um, I bought the foundation first. It's very lightweight. I feel like it didn't change colors throughout the day. Maybe it looks a little bit more lighter than normal. Hmm. No, 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 it's fine. The color is fine. The color is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Very good, parents. <laughs> okay, so the foundation. Um, the foundation looks pretty good. It held up nicely. The only weird thing is I don't really get smile lines. And I notice a bit of creasing by my smile lines and I never really had that problem before. So for the foundation, for the most part, I do like the foundation. I like the way it's lightweight. I like the fact that it's sheer medium coverage. Um, I don't mind not wearing full coverage foundation. So if you're a full coverage queen and you want that mask on, then this is not the foundation for you because if you do want to be full coverage you're going to be literally wasting your money by pumping on layers and layers and layers just to get a full coverage foundation um like i said i recommend you using a brush and not a beauty blender because it is so liquidy and i feel like a beauty blender or a beauty sponge will just absorb it all up so the foundation i approve it i mean with it is pretty pricey in canadian dollars with taxes about like a hundred dollars about a hundred dollars so that was already a lot for a foundation especially a foundation that is lightweight um this is only if I, this foundation i'll only be wearing for like special occasions i wouldn't really wear it like every day like this would be like my go-to foundation when i'm going out the wear it wears pretty well like i said i'm not very oily i'm more on the dry side so it did last um pretty well um, if you have the money you, you can get the foundation would i 100 percent recommend it yeah, no, I'm like I'm like iffy because there is foundations that I own that are cheaper than this foundation that are amazing that do the job. Like some of my favorite foundations are Beauty Bakeries, Insta Bake Foundation. I love Milk Makeup Flex um, Foundation. I love Juvia's Place. Um, I am Magic Foundation, Lancome Tinted Doll. Those are some of my favorite ones. So I mean. It's not a bad foundation. It to me is not really like life changing. Like I need it in my life. You know what I mean? So we're gonna talk about the concealer. So I like the concealer for the most part. Um, I like how thick and full coverage it was. Um, the only thing is I am getting major creasing, like under my eyes, like major creasing, and that's something where I don't know if it's the powder's fault or if it's the concealer's fault because I did set it with the under eye powder but now I'm thinking with this concealer I should set it with a setting powder and then use that on top of the setting powder to kind of like brush away the powder to blur it out I feel like maybe that would work a lot better to um, stop with, to prevent the creasing because it is it did crease like it is I don't know if you can notice, it did crease like right here. So the powder reminds me a lot of the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, which I love. I also use that under my eyes too to blur out, blur out under my eyes. The powder is nice, it smooths up, it smooths out. Um, I'm gonna have to try the powder, I'm gonna have to play with the powder and the concealer again and try different methods because I don't think the under eye setting powder really prevented it. It helped smooth under the under eye. It definitely helped the appearance of my under eyes look smooth. But when it came to creasing, it didn't really prevent creasing. So I'm wondering if I should set it first and then use the powder to swipe under. So when it comes to concealer, I love the concealer. The concealer is great. The concealer is great. I like how thickness is, thick it is, and how full coverage is, and how it blend out really nicely with the foundation. So I do like the concealer. The powder. Honestly, I feel like because I'm so in love with the Micro Smooth and the Micro Smooth does the job for me amazing and the powder was 40 bucks and really small. I don't think the powder was really worth it in my opinion. Um, I would probably take a pass on the powder only because, um, like I said, I, I have my the Sephora Micro Smooth. I have it right here. The Sephora Micro Smooth. That baby just whoop, blurs everything and it's like 30 bucks and you get a lot more product 
to do. Let me show you how it looks like. And this is the Sephora Micro Smooth. And you get way more product in the Sephora Micro Smooth. Smart Micro Smooth. And this is 30 bucks. And this is 40 bucks. And yeah, I don't know. And also when I put the powder on while I was putting on, I feel like it made my under eyes darker, which is really weird. Because, I don't know, I thought it was really weird as I was putting it on. So... For the powder, for the concealer, I like the concealer. Me, the concealer is a decent price because most concealers here are usually 37 Canadian, about 37 Canadian to $40 Canadian. So the fact it's $43, I don't think it's that bad for price. The powder is for as small as it is. Uh, I, will, I have to pass, but I do want to try the powder again and use a concealer and use my proper method of setting my under eyes because I only use that to set it. So final thoughts, Auntie Pat, I do like, it's not bad, it's not not bad. I mean, for everything, it did cost almost 200 Canadian, which is a lot of money for just three products. Um, so I'm like so, mm, like I love Auntie Pat, she's queen, the foundation is nice, I like it, it's pricey, but I feel like it's a foundation that I probably wear more in the summertime. I feel like I would like this foundation in the summertime, especially when I want like that nice lightweight cover coverage, especially when I go on vacations. I feel like I would really love this foundation 100%. So I like the foundation, but will it be replace my favorites? Not really. Um, the concealer, I do like the concealer. I feel like the concealer is would be great once I use my own methods with the concealer. The powder, I feel like we can pass on the powder. That's just my opinion. Yeah, so that is all I have to say about my review, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope I try to give you as much information as possible because to be honest, I'm very indecisive with this review word test because I like the product but the price point is really just mmm but even if I were to think about the price point would be lower would it knock out my favorites not necessarily but I do like I said everything I love the fact what Auntie Pat is doing I like the fact that you know she's coming up with the foundations and stuff like that I do wish in the future she comes out with a full covered foundation that's just blurry because I feel like that would be sickening. Um, for the powder, I hope she does come out with more shades or whatnot and whatnot. But my final thoughts is like, it's not bad. It's, it's not ter It's not like amazing and it's not bad. So that's what I, all I gotta say. So it's your girl Zay Beckford. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Share this video, give me your thoughts and opinions if you tried out this foundation or anything for Pat McGrath, what is your go-to, do you think it's worth it? I hope you guys enjoyed this wear test and have a great day. Bye-bye.